Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading Too Many Dinosaurs. This all started when I asked my mom if I could have a puppy. No, she said, no, go outside. Mr. Jerry was having a yard sale. Can you guess what I found? A dinosaur egg. Is it real, I asked. Mr. Jerry said yes, so I gave him a dollar and took it home. That night I was just about to go to sleep when I heard a noise. The egg was cracking. It was a, ba a baby Triceratops. I hoped he'd stay quiet so Mom wouldn't notice. The next morning, I heard grunting outside my window. The baby dinosaur was ruining Mom's garden. I ran downstairs, but he was gone, and there was a hole in our fence. How could I explain this to Mom? Then I heard a scream. I had a feeling that my dinosaur had come this way. Then I found him. I almost caught up to him when I ran into Mrs. Little John. Why are you running around in pajamas, she asked. I'm chasing a dinosaur, I said. Now go home and put on some clothes, she said. So I did. Before I went back out, I gave Mom a big hug. If I can't have a puppy, can I have a dinosaur, I asked. Mom laughed. If you can find a dinosaur, you may keep it. Maybe Mr. Jerry would know how to catch a baby dinosaur. What you need is a dinosaur horn, he said. It's just a dollar. Since I didn't have another dollar, Mr. Jerry let me owe it to him. At the park, I blew the horn as hard as I could. The dinosaur horn worked too well. Do something, said Mom. I blew the horn again. The dinosaurs began to fade. Then they were gone. Mom looked mad. Mom said, you need a puppy. That's it, you're getting a puppy. That's just what I wanted her to say. I never saw the baby dinosaur or the dinosaur horn ever again. But now I have the best puppy in the whole world.